All right, everybody, uh, Lloyd Hannison here from the Nerd Nest with a first look of a game that just dropped on Google Stadia this morning, and that is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. This is the remaster of this game that came out in, like, I want to say 2006 or something. I remember playing it back in the day on GameCube. I want to say GameCube. I'm pretty sure. I never owned the game, but I'm, I am uh, I rented it or played it at friends' houses. So this game is old, but uh, I mean, I love SpongeBob. Uh, even though I'm a little bit older, I'm still a big fan of SpongeBob SquarePants. So let's uh, let's get in here with the first look. My name is Lloyd Hannison from the Nerd Nest. You can follow me on Twitter at Dasme, D-A-S-M-E. And we're going to do 15, 20, 30 minutes. We'll see where the game takes us. I just want to see how, how good this thing looks uh, with the remaster. The original... The original is hard to go back to <laughs> if I've watched some videos of it, uh, but apparently the remaster looks beautiful. And I'm a big fan of these old school uh, platformers that were coming out in like the PlayStation 1, Welcome PlayStation 2 to era. Um, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Big day! I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula! <laughs> and if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, so oh well! I had the wrong camera on. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, <laughs> I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer <laughs> yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw at the switch. So the Welcome audio and video seems to be a little bit out of hey, sync huh? here. <laughs> I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh, hey, hello. What do you think you're doing? My good China. All right, let's see if SpongeBob's voice. Nope. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. That's crazy. All right, let's skip the let's skip the intro then. Um, that's weird that it was very out of sync. Um, I remember seeing. Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Um, I remember seeing some other videos where people had some sync issues, so I don't believe this is a Stadia issue. It's just a um, game engine issue. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mix. <sighs> what a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. <laughs> um, how do I read the signs? I knew that was coming. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Meow. Hmm. <laughs> Gary's the best. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. All right, explore the kitchen, explore the bedroom, explore the attic, explore the closet. All right, let's go on an explore a mathon. Your bikini bottom stinks. Hmm, maybe go throw in the shower or in the uh, in the uh, laundry. Wow. Give me some crap. All right, let's go to the kitchen. These are shiny objects. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob along on his quest. Uh, SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest and defeat the robot menace. There are five different colors of shiny objects. Red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red is the most common and the least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find or are in dangerous places. All right, let's go. Let's collect all the shiny things. Ooh, double jump. That's it. I think I got them all. All the shiny things have been shiny collected. All right, this is the bathroom. SpongeBob may see well he's doing. 
but SpongeBob may see how well he is doing by pressing R2. That seemed awkward to me for some reason. The number in the upper right is how many shiny objects SpongeBob has. The number in the upper right center is how many golden spatulas SpongeBob has collected. And the number in the lower right is how many Patrick lost socks SpongeBob has found. And finally, the number in the upper left is how many pairs of underwear SpongeBob has. Good to know. So I've collected 52, 54 uh, shiny things. I love these old platformers. The platforming was uh, always interesting. All right, so here is one that takes 10. Uh, pay 10 to access this area? Sure. All right. SpongeBob may jump by pressing A. Pressing A while SpongeBob is in mid-jump will cause him to double jump for extra height. But SpongeBob can only double jump once per jump. I don't think I've ever seen double jumping explained quite that way, but uh, makes sense. Let's jump on his alarm clock. Nope, can't. All right, let's go collect some underwear, but let's read the sign first. This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces. Like, oh gosh, that was mean. SpongeBob has lost all his underwear and he must start that area back over again. SpongeBob may get back underwear he has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. SpongeBob starts out wearing three pairs of underwear, just like every good person always has three pairs of underwear on. Thanks. Uh, but there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which if found will allow SpongeBob to wear more than three pairs at a time. SpongeBob can check how many pairs of underwear he has on by pressing R2. I have two. I feel like now I have three. All right, I think that's uh, that's it. That's it, that's all. Let's go back to the main room. I should have 50 still, yeah, I have 70. All right. Hey, look, it's my closet. Golden spatula. This is a golden spatula. Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas of Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob will need to collect many golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. Fair. That is fair. All right, I think I got all, all the things. Oh, and I need one spatula to exit. So let's get let's get out of SpongeBob's house. So far I'm digging this. The controls feel spot on. Uh, it doesn't look like it's a uh, uh, like an up version. It looks like it's a full remaster, which is what like I was hoping the sounds for. Of your own neighborhood. Very true. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Poor Plankton. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. <laughs> they just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. Aw, oh, that's I mean. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks. Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas in your dreams. You've got a deal. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let's see what we're doing here. Ouch. That hurt. Did that did that actually hurt me? Yeah, it took one. Ooh, that hurt me again. Apparently I was far too close. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. It's bubble buddy. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new <laughs> bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. Hmm. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, <laughs> something about new bubble moves? 
Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it hmm. out! Okay, let's try it out. Let's go underneath this thing and hit Y. Oh, cool. That's pretty awesome. Okay, learn that. It's it's funny like you haven't I haven't played this game forever um so I I I really do forget kind of what is uh what is in the game um but it's funny even with the newer graphics and whatnot um it's still bringing back some memories of uh, of things okay so those are there so let's see if we can jump up no can't. I'm not sure how we're supposed to get up there. Maybe it's for later. Uh, maybe I need to learn a different move or something. Probably not. I probably could have just done it there somehow. But, um, you know, whatever. Yeah, like, jump up on his... On something. Oh, maybe these guys. I could jump up on these guys. Oh, they're on a, they're on a button, too. Jump and press B. Oh, you got a butt, butt spot. Slap. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. But push, splash. Push, push, push. I guess would be the better way to call it. Oh yeah, see that's how you get up there. Alright, let's go start the other button. Start this one off. So we have 30 seconds. Come on, platform. The music's cheery. All right. Golden spatula. I won't. Uh, I won't. I won't assault any of your ears with my SpongeBob laugh. I used to do that for the kids all the time. I used to do that for the kitties. All right. So let's break this. Get some more shiny things. All right. I, I think I've done all that I can do in this little section. Um, let's see what this taxi stand is for. No, I need five for the taxi stand. Oh, this one, this one's free. I believe. Press R1 to travel to Jellyfish Fields. Okay, let's do it. So far, I'm really digging this one. Um, this is, uh, this is good. So, uh, we had this game and Destroy All Humans launch today. Which is, um, which is good. It's right before Cyberpunk. So it's going to give all the... The younger and people <laughs> a game to play uh-oh it's getting squidward at least this uh, voice and animations on sync now So you can tell this feels Squidward, are you okay? like an old platformer no, based on these I'm small little okay, levels. You head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King Jelly... Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Bald up here in excruciating. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. I love heroic SpongeBob voice. A butt slam. Oh, there's a rabbit. A rabbit is chasing me. So we're gonna we break all those tiki I'm things. Alright. Like Some a more new sponge. underwear. Ooh. 
That's, uh, that is a big area of effects. All right, let's go up here and get rid of these tiki's. Ultra combo. We need to get the announcer from uh, Killer Instincts. Fresh like a spring breeze. Ultra combo. Oh no, I didn't get the yellow one. Ah, oh, I missed one. Ooh. I feel like a new sponge. There is a random box. Hmm. Okay. Um, there are... This is a teleport box. When you have both the teleport boxes in the area open, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. Ah, oh, okay. That rings a bell. It's funny, but when you play when you play old games... Sometimes it's tough to... Uh, this is goo. Oops. Dang it. I cancelled that instead of going through. This is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so let them fall. Don't let them fall in the goo. So I can't go get that um, sock, unfortunately. Um, when you're playing old games that you've played before in your life, it's, sometimes it's tough to tough to remember if you remember something happening from 15 years ago or 20 years ago, or if you just watched a video and you saw someone do it in the video. Your brain kind of plays a little bit of a uh, little bit of games with you. All right, nothing there. All right, let's go kill some more rabbits. Got to say, love the music. I love that. I love the tiki vibe of SpongeBob. So much and so, so much so that when I went to uh, downtown Disney, I had to go to the Tiki Bar, um, just because it was. It reminded me of SpongeBob. We'll just say that. You just met the Spongeinator. A Spongeinator. Blah, blah. I could have done a better Arnold. I mean, not that I did a good Arnold, but you know, you know. All right. Uh, wrong button. Let's butt slam that one. Ultra combo. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Okay, I probably can't go in there, can I? Nope. And I didn't even get the spatula that I was jumping in and taking my own life to get. All right, that wasn't very smart. Let's uh, let's not do that. Come super monster combo. They really do need an announcer to announce the combos. Okay, so just trying to check out all the buttons. What is so L1 and L2 don't do anything. I should have actually tried to get that pair of underwear. Again, like video games make us say sentences that we never thought that we would ever say before. Like, I didn't know if I was going to be able to get that underwear. Not something I've ever said before. But according to SpongeBob, it's a totally normal thing to do. Pay 125 shiny objects to build the bridge. Yes, let's do that. Alright, what is this? This is a checkpoint. If you're defeated after activating a checkpoint, you'll restart at the checkpoint instead of the beginning of the area. Good to know. All right, let's kill that rabbit. We'll kill these little tiki guys. I don't need more underwear. So weird. So weird. Oh, dang. There's probably a green one or something up there that I missed. Oh, no, there wasn't. Okay. That's good. What is this? Just random bottle? Nothing to do with that? Okay. Fair, fair. I wonder if you can, like... No, it doesn't appear that you can, like, crouch jump or something to go higher. Oh, 
I just wanted to get the top one. Not both of them. Here we go. Uh, ice cubes. Uh, this is Freezy Fruits. Only Patrick can use the Freezy Fruits. Oh. All right, then. All right, got that one. Let's go over here. We're just getting all these, all, all these great little things. There has to be a way to get in the water. I wonder who can swim. Maybe Squidward? I didn't remember if you can control Squidward. Oh my god, it's been so long. It's been so long since playing this on the GameCube. We gotta go find that box uh, uh, so that we can teleport between the two areas. Here we go. Break hey, that. Gary, what's shaking? Wow, a bungee jump, jump for a golden, for a golden spatula. spatula. I must be in heaven. <laughs> Come on. Oh. No, can't get up there. All right. So let's butt stomp that. And oh, the king jellyfish is this way. So let's. Uh... Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I mean, that's. He's not wrong. That's why things have buttons. People like pushing buttons. Oh, dang. He's killing all the fish folk. With ham. Hmm. Let's see if I can get that guy and jump on top of this guy. Oh, totally can. Just gotta time it properly. Ham, learn, I get it. <laughs> All right, there we go. And there's nothing up there. I mean, it was worth it, kind of. I'm sure at some point it'll pay off. Opening presents. Oh, sparkly! Can I talk? I can't even talk to him. All right, let's uh, let's go up here. Oh, jeez, wrong button. I got hammered. Fresh like a spring breeze. Ultra combo. <sighs> me, uh, me talking like the uh, the announcer for Killer Instinct is probably really tired by now, so my apologies for that. But I'll probably keep doing it. Because uh, it's a habit. It's a habit. Oh, I can't jump up there? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so where are we going here? We gotta find the king jellyfish. We gotta find the other box. I'm not seeing it. And we're at 23 minutes. We're almost uh, we're almost right where I like starting to tie this uh, thing in a knot. Let's go up here. Let's see what's around here. What I'll do is not get every item because, well, you don't really need them right this second. Uh, this is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim. Don't let them fall in the goo. You've already told me about goo. Some green shiny things. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was tight. I feel like a new sponge. That was some uh, some fun platforming. Well, depending on your, your views of platforming, I guess. Oh, there we go. I was wondering, it's like, why am I not bouncing on these things when I stood on them before? There we go. We'll 
give me teleport box info. Oh yeah, it works really well. Just jump in. There we go. It's weird how it draws in all the grass it's after. All right, that machine huffing and puffing over there is a Duplicatotron 1000. The D1000 will continue to create robots until it's destroyed. Be careful though, it goes out with a big bang. All right, Duplicatotron. Oh, wrong button again. I keep hitting. I keep hitting the uh, the uh, read sign button. Uh oh. All right. Spatula. Three spatulas down. Many, many to go. Is it just saying I can't go that direction? Yeah. Oh, press R1 to travel to Jellyfish Caves. Oh, okay. Let's do that. We'll go poke around in Jellyfish Caves for a small little bit. Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics <laughs> and toys and mail. Mermaid Man looks ridiculous in 3D. Huh? What? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. That Patrick is surrounded by robots. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> no. Ooh. Well, if massaging your feet was... Oh, Ew. They're making me hit myself. Massaging your feet isn't working. By clipping my toenail. Oh. I come back. That just it gets grosser and grosser. <laughs> <laughs> Opening the box at the end of the slide to teleport. This is a slide when Spongebob, Patrick, or Sandy. Oh, so that's right. It's Sandy is the other playable character. And she can swim because she has the big bucket on her head. Uh, or bowl, glass bowl, but you know. Uh, when Sandy jump onto the slide. They will zip down the slope at hydrodynamic speeds. Fun. All right, let's go. Let's go on a slide. Oh, controls are, uh, let's say, interesting. Make a combo! That was a ton of fun! I should do it again sometime! Yeah, we should. I can just go do it right now. See, there's a couple items I didn't get. Um, there was those boxes that were up here. Nope. And I can't even hit the... Uh... Oh, there we go. Patrick needs to do laundry. Double jump. That was great. All right, need to get Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. Maybe. But robots are guarding them heavily. You have to battle through. All right, let's battle through. Fresh like a spring breeze. It's a little weird that there's so many like unexploded munitions on the bottom of the ocean. It's like all these rockets just everywhere. Wonder if that comes into play later. I don't remember anything about that in this game. Shines. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Accurate. Again. We'll get rid of those hammers. Oh, it's tartar sauce like in the bottle. Sponge. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Tartar. This sauce of tartare. All right. Blow that up. Hit that button. And we can get a Patrick. Hey, I killed all the robot making things. How come there's still robots everywhere? Can I? Ooh, that was a close one. Come here, rub it. We'll get you. Oh, there's a bunch of greens. I missed one, but that's okay. That's okay. We're not going for perfection in this first look. We're just showing off some of the game, some of the platforming, and now we're going to show off an unlockable character. Woo Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. Accurate. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. 
Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Okay. Okay, SpongeBob. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, we got four spatulas. Now let's continue on here. Uh, this is a throw fruit. Pitch Patrick can pick up throw fruit and throw them. Press B to pick up nearby throw fruits and then hit it again to, to throw them. Push buttons, destroy tikis, and damage rabbits. Uh, but use it quickly because the throw fruit, or throw fruit wilts after a few seconds. Interesting. All right. Let's uh, pick it up and let's throw it. Wow, that was... That was good. That worked. Although it seemed like it was auto-attracted to that button, so maybe it wasn't that good. <laughs> Uh, Patrick can also pick up and throw tiki's, but only tiki's that don't have other tiki's stack on top of them. Okay. Oh. Okay, so let's pick up this tiki. Oh, okay, so it seems like it auto Pretty sparkly. It, it auto targets, which is a good thing. Uh, Patrick can throw fruit up steps, then climb the steps to pick up the fruit and throw it again. I don't know why I'd ever want to do that, though, when I could just pick it up and throw it at the button. <laughs> that was a little little weird, um, but it's just it's teaching you stuff, I guess. What is this? Uh, this is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob or playing Patrick at a bus stop. Yes, that is right. Ooh, it's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me. Uh, I'm going to have so much fun playing this with my kids. I can't wait. Uh, this is a special Patrick teeter-totter that only Patrick can use. Have Patrick pick up a throw fruit and stand on the pink starfish slide and then throw the fruit at the target side. Patrick will be flung across the other side of the lake. Dang. That's, uh, that, that's, that's a good way to travel. I like that. This one goes boom. That one does go boom. Uh, this is a thunder tiki. When Patrick touches it, it will begin to storm, and after a few seconds, it'll go boom. Don't be near it when it goes boom. Okay, so that's what was happening. I didn't have to do anything to make it explode. It just exploded after some time. Can I pick it up? Nope. I, I think I could. It said it said something to pick up, but it didn't seem to work. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, we'll end this right away as soon as I get to this end of this section over here. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! <laughs> Sorry, got a text. I had to look. Rock is the rock is to talking me. to me. Oh, mighty oh. rock! Oh, oh mighty rock! Man. Down here! You big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? <laughs> so very tempting. Unf I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. <laughs> Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. The end of the cave. At the end of the cave, so you'll still be a idiot. big pink idiot, <laughs> but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go, Patrick. You, you're, you're, you're a special little guy. You have some weird ideas there, Patrick. Hey, All right. My back feels better. Let's go. Uh, if you jump in the air and then press B, uh, he'll... I guess he does like a belly flop, probably? Oh, no, he does a butt slam. Ooh, All right. We'll make... dark cave. <laughs> no. Ouch. Ouch. Bow, 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 bow. All right, let's pick up all these shiny things. We'll get that one over top. We'll jump up here, and I think this will be a great place 
to call it quits. So uh, you get a good idea of what SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated is. It is a old school platformer, something that you would have played a lot in uh, the 90s and 2000s, early 2000s. Um, there's something fun about going back in time and playing these games. And when you're playing it um, in, I don't know, is this... Is this 60 frames a second? It feels like it could be 60. Uh, it is, it's smooth um, rotating. The rotating's slow, so you can't really tell. But it feels like it might even be 60 frames a second. Um, it plays better than the original for sure, uh, which is uh, which is always fun. Yeah, he does, do, does a belly flop. I knew he did a belly flop. I was right. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to about do it for my first look for SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Uh, you can check out all the content that we're doing over at the Nerd Nest. Uh, used to go to StadiaCast. That was the channel name. We've now changed names to Nerd Nest because we're incorporating all sorts of content. Both Bill and I uh, release content on a bunch of different platforms and we're consolidating into one channel. So it's your one-stop shop for videos from Bill and I. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can check out uh, this video and others over at Nerd Nest. There's going to be more family-friendly stuff coming. We're going to be covering Cyberpunk 2077 when that comes out, uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central. Uh, I can't believe it's here already. Uh, what a way to end 2020. So you can, uh, check out all that stuff and more at youtube.com slash Nerd Nest. And, of course, we still record the StadiaCast podcast each and every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern over at youtube.com slash Nerd Nest. Uh, if that's too much to remember, you can just type in nerdnest.tv and it'll take you right to our channel. So, anyway, that's going to do it for me. Lloyd Hannison from the StadiaCast podcast and from Nerd Nest. We'll talk to you next time. And uh, yeah, have a good one, everybody.